know Halloween crafters, and welcome to the first bit of Craftober! <laughs> <laughs> So, crafters, the first thing we're going to do for Craftober is the Doom Skull Altar. Now, this is the skull of a decapitated god that has been restrained on this divine altar. Then, the cultists of the, of the Doom Skull are going to try to revive it uh, with the Juggernaut that harvests bodies and souls uh, to, to feed to the Doom Skull. And then the third project is the revived Doom Skull in all its bloody glory. So, Without further ado, let's hit the table and start making the Doom Skull Altar. I wanted to do some fun lighting effects for the altar, and I got this candle at the dollar store, and I thought this would be cool uh, with the different changing colors as it could be like the ward that's containing the skull on the go on the altar. And so I'm just going to rip off the artifice of this. And what I really want is the inside. I just want that changing LED and the uh, a top LED. So I'll just, I can just put that right in the skull like that, see? So perfect. Yeah, this is just a skull. Uh, it's a glow-in-the-dark skull that I got at the dollar store. These are uh, styro uh, circles I got at the dollar store. I'm going to use one of these for the altar. And this is what the skull will sit on. So I'm going to mark how large the base of that candle was. I'll just mark it on the styro. And I'm just going to use an X-Acto to cut it. So I just cut that out. This will be kind of be the pedestal that the skull is sitting on. And it'll give me a nice way to hide that light. right? So I'll just cut that out. Trim that up a little bit. And there, it just uh, will pop right in there. So we'll be good to go. Cool. All right, so we'll put the skull in there to see what it looks like. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to stone this up a bit. And I'm going to use my patented uh, TP technique. Spray it down with some water. And then adhere it to the styrofoam disc. Make sure it's all stuck. Then I'm going to add some 50-50 uh, glue water. Glue, 50 glue, 50% 50 water. Put it on the, on the ring. And after it dries up, it'll be a nice stone texture. Okay, now I'm going to use this uh, CD disc holder. And I'm going to use it as a kind of a cover for the light, right? So I'll just cut uh, the rough shape out there. And it's not a little bit too big, so I'll trim it up. It's nice hard plastic. It'll kind of cover up that light. But I want to do another detail to it. I'm going to use the hot glue gun and ring around it so it'll make it look like kind of almost like a pool of energy or a pool of magic. And the light will just shine right through that. So perfect. All right, now I got these styro balls at the dollar store, and they're all different sizes. And the whole idea of the of the altar is that uh, his the body parts of this dead god were uh, stored in different uh, planes or different um, spheres of existence. And so this is kind of representing those on the altar. So I'm going to do the same thing with the altar. Use my TP technique. I just cut those in half, of course, with the uh, the knives there, and just apply it there. Pull up that uh, TP underneath. Add the 50-50 water glue. And it'll be good to go for our different spheres. Okay, so now I want to do some detail on the skull itself. I'm going to use uh, some black acrylic. And I just, it's just too plain uh, being its, you know, basic just self because it has, you can't really see that detail. But if I paint it on there, you'll really be able to see it. So I'm adding this black to really give a high contrast to the skull itself. So look at that. All those details are really starting to pop out. Really sweet. And I want to keep the idea that this thing was evil, so that's why I'm going to do these other details, these kind of black tendrils coming up from the eyes. I want to kind of convey that evilness to this thing. And uh, yeah, looking nice. All those details are really starting to pop. Cracks in the skull. Yeah, 
are really cool. All right, perfect. Do a little detail in the eyes. Looking good. Smudge it a little bit. Nice. All right, now I have a, um, a glow-in-the-dark skull necklace, okay? And I'm going to use this in the build also. So I'm going to cut that top off. They also have these on skeletons that are at the dollar store, so you can get it that way too. Now I'm just using some dark brown on this and kind of paint in some of these recesses. I'm not going to paint it in individually like I did on the big skull. I'm just going to pull my hand over it and kind of uh, reveal the teeth and stuff underneath. That way I don't have to paint each individual piece. Just kind of wipe it off, per se. There we go. Nice. Now I'm going to use these cheap icicles, too. I thought it would be kind of cool that the, the spear or the skull is pierced by, like, divine energy. And that's kind of what's shackling the skull to the altar. So I'm going to use this punch. Be careful you don't jab yourself. Put it through the skull. Got the cheekbone there. Make it large enough for the piece. And then just skewer the skull with it. So it goes out the other side. Nice. Now the same thing with the other one. Be careful you don't uh, cross them too, too close or you won't be able to get it through. Okay. It's a little tight there, but got it in. All right, nice. It's a nice effect going on there. Very cool. All right, sweet. Now I'm going to do some more detail uh, where I pierce the skull. I'll just drag up some cracks from that piercing, some black cracks. And the icicle's nice because it'll, it'll actually uh, shine, the light will shine through it too, so that's what I really like. That's pretty cool. That's why I went with a clear icicle like that. Sweet. Now on the bottom side, do some cracks also where it pierces. Keeps this thing in constant pain. Nice. All right, now I'm going to use a clear mat because I want the skulls, the acrylic, to stay on the skull. So I'll just give them a dusting of that, and that'll help that. Now I have these nice uh, multifaceted round gems, and I'm going to use these on the smaller skulls. I'm going to poke a little bit in the eye there. Make a recess. Use my uh, glue here. And uh, put the gems on the eyes. That'll be nice so when the light shines up, it'll shine through those too. Now I need to make the altar itself. I got a piece of dollar store foam core. And I just got this big bowl just because it was the size, about the size I wanted. And there we go. And they are kind of give you an idea of the details here. Here's the spheres and the different planes. The, and I'll set those out on the altar itself. I think that'll be really cool when I get all that up, get all that done. Get all the detail on there. Now I'm going to use some double thick cardboard, and this will be the base, same size, it'll be the base of the altar, and this will help secure the altar so that it doesn't, the foam core doesn't bend, right? Okay, now I have this tracing uh, tool here, and I'm just going to use it to make different size circles, okay? I want some circles for the pedestals for the uh, pillars that are going to hold, contain the doom skull. Okay, so I'm going to make two different sizes there, and they're going to sit on top of each other. Just gonna peel the paper off one side and mark it. That's where the pillar is gonna stand. And start doing some designs on here. Now I pulled the paper off, of course, because so I can write into the uh, foam core with a pen and get some nice designs into the foam core. Nice. Same with the second layer. Pull that paper off. Now what I, that's what's nice about this dollar store foam core. That paper pulls right off. If you don't have access to it, uh, you can use other foam core, but it's much more difficult to get the paper off. You have to soak it in water and that kind of thing. All right, cool. So now I just need to uh, glue these together, and that'll be a nice pedestal for the pillars. A little more detail. So we'll fill this in, and then we'll come back next time and start working on the, on the detail of the altar and uh, finishing up all the pillars and that kind of thing. So it's going to be a really great build. I hope you enjoyed the preview at the beginning, and we'll see you next time. Nice. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed this first official crafting vid of Craftober. 
Now I want to show you a craft that I did for Crafters Lair 4, which is Death's Door. Uh, normally I don't do a whole craft in Crafters Lair, but this time I showed the whole craft of cra exclusive Death's Door craft. I wanted to show you a preview of that. And remember that if you join Patreon at the dollar level, you can get all the Crafters Lair issues. There's four of them. You can get all the Crafters Lair's issues immediately. So uh, check out this little vid and I'll give you a preview of what's uh, in store in Crafters Lair 4. This isn't funny, DM Scotty. I'm out of here.